your girl got asked to be in Denver Fashion Week again. Like, what? Today is... Today is Sunday, April 16th, and it is currently 5.40 p.m. We just got back from going out to eat, but we went to go to Corral, y'all. Let me tell y'all why I hate going to go to Corral, because I always feel like those people on my 600 pound life when I go to a buffet. To be like completely honest with you, I don't eat that much, but it was good to go out get, you know, a variety of things to eat. We went to church this morning, which was nice. Get into the fit, y'all. So we got the blue shades to match the blue shirt, the plaid flannel here is giving a little shoulder action. A little hoodie action in the back. It's a little droopy. It's giving a little streetwear, a little vibe, a little vibe. Got the mom jeans, high waisted. So y'all, my background ended up getting really loud, so I had to cut the rest of the footage. Hate that for me, but yeah, let's get into the rest of the vlog. My battery's on like 9%. She was thirsty. I've been trying to like drink more water lately and I don't know if it's just because I'm back on the East Coast and like in the South so it's like very hot. <laughs> like it's very humid now and like the air is so moist that I'm always like, like not really sweating but like my face is always looking greasy. It's giving glazed donut. Coming from Colorado to here has been a significant change because Colorado is so dry and like I've gotten used to it like when I first got to Colorado being from Georgia it was a it was a culture shock because I was always ashy my skin was like cracking and like cause it was so cold and dry there and I'm used to at the time I was used to it being like moist and humid in Georgia but being in Colorado for five plus years I got accustomed to it even now my house is 70 degrees all the time. We came from Colorado, we're used to it. Like this is perfect to us. I don't wanna be hot. I don't wanna be sweaty. I want air conditioned. It's a luxury. <laughs> it's a luxury that I will never, ever, ever go without again so like moving to colorado and being there for so long has taught me how to keep my skin moisturized here in the dmv area it's like all of that is gone out the window i always hate moving to a new like climate because you literally have to change everything everything you trained your body to get accustomed to in the previous state you have to like train your body to do the complete opposite i can't just go out the house without drinking water no more not here you will pass out it's too hot but I will say I am liking the DMV area <laughs> despite all of that like all of the like getting adjusted to it and everything I'm loving the DMV area so far I don't know if I told you guys or not but I have found a office space for my clothing line so if you guys don't know I own a clothing line untamed vanity clothing I've had untamed vanity since 2016 she's been rocking with me strong that's my girl it's an online women's fashion boutique and this was my first year wanting to expand a little bit and get a off-site location for like my inventory for photo shoots etc etc so i went on a hunt for office spaces i fell in love with one of them and it's so funny because when i found the office space that i wanted i wasn't even there looking for office spaces i was there for a brow appointment i fell in love with the place and i i told my brow my brow girl i was like how much do you pay for this because it was an downtown area very upscale area very very wealthy city okay let's just start there like, the skyline is amazing i'm like right next door to things that i need for my business the foot traffic is amazing and i was talking to her about it i was like i am really considering moving into this workspace and she was telling me how like flexible they were and they were so nice and super sweet and they were recruiting people in so i went and i reached out to the manager did a consultation everything told her what my plans were what i wanted to do i'm back you guys sorry if the quality is a little bit different i'm no longer recording on my camera now i am not 
not with Metro anymore. I am with ATMT. I'm on my phone because my camera was on 1%. But I believe I left off at um telling you guys about my office space. So I moved up here January 2nd, got my office February 9th, renovated it for it to be like a photography space, but also for like a uh, inventory space. I'm so used to having like my inventory in my house. It's just nice having my inventory outside of my house and just having like a space dedicated to my business. And I can just focus on that. Eventually I will grow that space into something more than that. But right now I just want to use it for content creation and order processing and that's pretty much it so that is one of the things that i've been working on also you guys y'all tell me why your girl got asked to be in denver fashion week again like what? so since i've moved up here to the dmv area i've been looking heavy into new york fashion week new york is literally like right there like literally the state New York's like right there. So I've really been trying to get into New York Fashion Week. Not to say that I don't want to be a part of Denver Fashion Week. I'm just saying, I really wasn't thinking about it when I got up here. But I love, like you guys, when I was in Colorado, my first year of moving up there, my first year, I was like, I got to get into Denver Fashion Week. That's all I wanted. And I literally signed up for Denver Fashion Week and didn't hear anything back from them. And I was so devastated. I have models for my brand that walked in Denver Fashion Week a lot every year and i still wasn't being asked to be in different fashion week and i was like i don't understand but i finally got asked so check i don't feel i don't like literally i don't care how long it took i know that it is so hard to get into Denver Fashion Week. And the fact that I was able to get into Denver Fashion Week before my time was up in Colorado and even after when I'm here in the DMV area and I'm still I'm still getting called to Oh God, I see you, God. The show is May 9th, y'all. I'm so excited. So I've been working on that literally heavy right now because this is the one time that I'm doing Denver Fashion Week that I'm not in the state. So I have to make sure that I have everything together before I go because everything that I'm showing in the show is coming with me in a carry-on luggage. We are not playing that lost luggage game. We're not playing that shipping game. We're not playing that under the storage, like putting boxes underneath the plane. We're not playing that. Everything will be glued to my hip. Okay, glued. And I'm also excited. I get to see my girls when I get back to Denver. I'm so excited, you guys. So, yeah, life has just been happening. And honestly, guys, like, I've just been, like, I can't even wrap my head around how much stuff has been moving in my life. Can I just share something with you guys real quick? I did a fast because I started getting fog-headed, basically, where I was doubting myself. I felt burnt out. I felt like I didn't really see the light at the end of the tunnel anymore. I was kind of just like, you know, things aren't working out how I want them to work out when it comes down to things that I am I feel like I'm working hard at. And it's like, at what point are you gonna realize that this is insanity you are doing the same thing same thing same thing and you're not getting a different result you're not liking the result that you're getting but you're expecting a different result and then i started getting very negative and anybody who knows me knows that i am not a negative person at all i will literally find the positive in every single thing i just felt lost like i felt like standing at like the start of 30 different roads and you have to choose the right one to take i just felt stuck like i didn't know which way to go i tend to put a lot of things on my plate and when you look at all that stuff on your plate yeah you want to dive into everything but you just don't even know where to start like it was kind of like that feeling so i was just like i'm just gonna pause because i felt god telling me to just be still and at first i didn't know what that meant but basically god told me i need you to be still i will reveal everything to you you just need to like sit and let me do my job i said okay i'm just i'm gonna listen to it i went on a fast i prayed and y'all when i tell y'all after the prayer that i said that whole week things were just popping off left and right it was like an awakening y'all the moral of the story is everything that is happening in my life now and that is about to happen in my life 
and that I'm being prepared for in the future, there's no way I could have done it, could have been invited to, could have even thought about it, could have even been put in the position to say yes or no. There's no way I would have been able to do it without God and his guidance and his hand. So now the path, whatever path I chose, whatever path I'm going down, I'm being guided down it. I don't know. It's a great feeling. But yeah, y'all, this was a fun talk. I'm going to end it here and I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out. What's up, guys? It is Monday, April 17th. It is currently 4.43 p.m. you guys my throat is killing me my head is killing me my stomach hurts because i have more medication in my body than i do food my body is just so lethargic and i'm just very like achy today and i don't know what it could be what i do know is i'm not going to the doctor i don't know if it's just because i don't feel like waiting at the doctor or if it's just because it's really not that bad like for me to go to the doctor to get i don't want to say it's not that bad because it's bad it's pretty bad what i'm saying is i don't think it's like strep throat or covid or like because it just happened like it just started last night and i really feel like i just need rest i'm taking robitussin and that i uh, taking it around the clock has been helping me feel better well i'm also doing like the sepical um cough drops if you don't know what sepical is it's like a cough drop medication that numbs your throat so they're like way stronger than your regular cough drops um they're actually medication but you just suck on the lyringes and basically they just numb your throat um and normally if those don't work then i go to the doctor because if it's still hurt and it's numb then definitely something's wrong but i took those and um i could eat and like do things but it still hurts like especially when the medication like wears off and i'm just like tired y'all and i think it's just like my body just needs rest so i did tough it out i went to work today y'all i i really was i really was hesitant this morning because i was like man like i don't feel good but at the same time like i couldn't sleep last night because my throat was hurting so bad like i just kept waking up i wasn't comfortable i was cold i was like you know what like i'm just gonna get up like i woke up with energy like but i wasn't feeling good it's very weird not energy like physically but like mentally like my body was just like all right it's time to get up like i wasn't sleepy anymore so i just got up and pushed through and i was hoping that it would like go away i was drinking my gatorade and i had like a chicken salad that i was nibbling on and i took my medicine with me the rubber testing so i could continue the like schedule taking it around the clock but y'all mm -mm. so i ended up leaving early because i was like well not too early i left right at three o'clock so like two hours ago i'm just not like mm -mm. i have this Gatorade, yellow Gatorade, because I always heard that the yellow Gatorade is better for you when you're sick or when you have like a hangover or anything. And I drank the white Gatorade today. And it was giving, I mean like it was giving me energy. It got me through the day. But I'm going to try the yellow one now and just kind of see if it makes me feel a little bit better. I was thirsty. Y'all, I really don't like the taste of yellow Gatorades. It tastes like sickness to me because I'm so used to only drinking it when I'm sick that when I taste it, I just feel sick. It's the same with ginger ale. Like, you only, I only drink ginger ale when I have like a stomach virus or a bug or something like that. So when I drink it when I'm not sick, it just reminds me of being sick. Same with jello, all that stuff. Y'all, my throat hurts so bad. I just tried to eat a um, chicken pot pie because I want something warm. I want something soupy, but I don't want soup. So I thought I'd eat a chicken pot pie. I ate it, but it's still very like, like the chunkiness of things hurts my throat. So I'm glad to be home. I'm about to lay down, drink my Gatorade and probably fall asleep. I'll see you guys later.
later. What's up guys? So it is 9.02. I'm up. I do feel a little bit better. My throat still hurts, but not as much and my body isn't aching as much. I think I just need it like rest you guys. Like I just need to lay down. I still look a hot mess. I still need to wash my hair, but um, yeah. <laughs> what we looking like right now so i am making some chicken alfredo i'm gonna eat that tonight something warm and then i'll probably take some more medicine and call it a night i just want to come here and give you guys a quick update just to let you know that i am alive and i am feeling better so yeah i'll see you guys in the next scene peace out a few moments later Thank mm -hmm. you. 